guys are going on? It's Pianthor here and welcome back to another episode of Let's Build an Adventure Map. How's everyone doing today? What is it? It is July 3rd. Uh, for America, it is the 4th of July tomorrow. That's probably when it's going up. Happy 4th of July to all of you if you're watching during the 4th of July. But uh, yeah, so let's get right into La Bam, guys. Uh, thank you for all of the suggestions that I got last episode. I do greatly appreciate it. Uh, I got a lot of things to talk about as well from, you know, comments that I got the last episode. So, first off, um, we should discuss, we're getting to that point where uh, we're getting pretty deep into this adventure map. We got a, a dialogues going, stuff like that. Uh, and I think we need to start discussing a name for the adventure map. So, if you guys do know, if you guys have been following the series, we have not picked a name for this adventure map yet. Uh, we picked a name for the main boss or the main bad guy in this adventure map. I believe it was Mr. Lork, I think. Uh, L-O-R-K, I believe, Mr. Lork. Uh, so I think we went with that. But um, what I was thinking for a, or an, plural, not plural, uh, grammar. <laughs> uh, but uh, what I was thinking for an adventure map name, uh, I was thinking the whole, like just quotation marks, let's see, just the whole, you know, like that. I think that would look... Uh, pretty good on uh, text, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. It's, uh, it, I don't know. It, it kind of makes sense, the name of the adventure map. I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, I got a suggestion from someone saying it should be, well, not it, sh it should be, but a suggestion. It should be uh, what, something like the mystery of Ramson or something like that. Uh, if you guys have a suggestion on, you know, what the name of the adventure map be, just uh, leave it down below. I'll go ahead and check it out, and uh, we'll talk about it next episode. But... For now, I th I like the hole. The the hole has a kind of a nice ring to it. So, uh, yeah, good thing we got all that uh, that out of the way at the very beginning of the episode. I got a couple stuff to do today. I actually have it written down on a list. Uh, so, if you guys do remember last episode, we did a test through, and um, the test through uh, went pretty smoothly. Uh, smoothly actually, it um, it went yeah it went fairly well. So, um, that gave me it also gave me a lot of uh ideas, things to improve on and stuff like that. So uh, I figured we would do a couple of uh, of that stuff today. First of all, uh, after we defeated Elgor, after we defeated Elgor, um, he did not like drop anything. He didn't do anything really. Uh, he kind of just like teleported us out and uh, that's pretty much all that happened. So uh, what I kind of want to do is work on Elgor just a little bit more today. Uh, I'll probably cut a lot of the, uh, the footage of me working on it, but um, what I want to do is I want to make it so after I kill Elgor, uh, it'll actually teleport me out of, um, out of Elgor's cave. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear my inventory just a little bit. And there we go. Sorry if you guys can hear some noise in the background. Uh, I am actually recording this at a kind of a late time of the day. I haven't had a lot of time to, you know, get an episode out today. So I'm trying my best to... Um, hurry this up so people don't get mad at me. But uh, this is all the redstone we have for Elgo or uh, Elgor, pretty much. Um, it's not that much, honestly. Actually, if we go all the way down uh, to Elgor's layer, let's see if we can go all the way down it. Uh, where is it? Right here. There we go. Drop down. Awesome. So um, I believe it's right. Where is it? It's right here. Boom. Yep. There we go. So uh, we hop through here. There we go. And this is also a little bit of redstone, but I think this is where we're going to work today, right here. Um, I don't want to talk too much just because I kind of want to get to work on the command blocks so we can move on to uh, better things this episode. So um, I'm going to quickly work on a couple things and I will be back in just a second. All right. All righty, guys. So let's test this out. Um, I think I, I think it works. <laughs> um, I hope it does. So let's just grab, let's just stay in creative mode for the time being and it's enter Elgor's Lair. Uh, it's going to say a boss battle starting in three, two, one, and then it drops us in. There we go. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, that might be a little bit of a problem because uh, rise, uh, rise, we spawned and we spawned out. That is not good. Uh, right here is where we're supposed to spawn after we defeat El Gore, but um, that is not what happened. Uh, so El Gore is clearly still alive. Uh, if we click this again, I believe it will spawn to El Gore. See, the whole thing is wanked up. Um, we gotta, we gotta work on it. So, um, let's head down here, uh, just see what the deal is. If I spawn down here, um, okay, so El Gore is still right there. Um, 
if I kill him, let's see if I, if I kill him, now then does it spawn us there? Maybe, um, kill you? No, now it doesn't. That, leaving boss room in three seconds, okay. And, wait, now it teleports us out. Okay, um, that's peculiar, uh, peculiar, I can't talk today. Um, let's see, let's try that again, uh, cause I think it works. I don't know why it activated the command block though. Hmm, that's weird. Spawn me, and walk forward. Okay, it didn't despawn me. Huh, that was like a one-time thing maybe? I don't know. Let's kill him again. See what we uh, do. Kill him, come on. Wait for it, and die please. Die please. Man, he's pretty powerful, there we go. Oh God, Skype, please no. You're ruining it, you ruin everything. One sec, I need to mute my Skype. One sec, okay, but it does work, that is good. Uh, one sec, one sec, do not disturb, I apologize. Greatly apologize, there we go, okay. Um, so, yeah, it does work, in fact, but um, we add, need to add a couple things. Oh, that does remind me. Um, another person said uh, in the comments that, what is it? Um, hmm. Yeah, they said that we should have a, a hospital or a some spot to show you like where you would die. So if like if you died in this game, you would respawn in like a hospital or something like that. That's what they said. Uh, and I thought that was a great idea. However, we don't have a really a necessarily a hospital um, in this map. So what I thought is the when you die, you actually spawn in room number three. Uh, that's just a suggestion that I had. You spawn in room number three. I think room number three is activated. So if we stand here, will it teleport us? Yeah, it will. So um, we could do uh, slash set world spawn. Well, not right now. Well, we could set world spawn right now. And whenever the player died, uh, let's do slash kill uh, at P. So it kills me. Would I respawn? Oh, wait, wait. Would I respawn? Why am I? What is, what? Why am I responding lower? What is this? That is weird. One sec, let's go back into the ho Wow, people are so loud in my house. It's crazy, crazy. Never get any chance to record. Not even like during the summer. I, I thought it'd be a great time to record, but there's always people home. It's never a good time. So I think we need to set this a little bit farther down. Maybe right here, uh, set world spawn. Cause that is weird. It spawned me up top a little bit. That is weird. Let's see. Kill. Where will I respond? Still on top of the stupid house, huh? That is really dang weird. Hmm. If I set the spawn, like say right here, set world spawn, and then I go ahead and kill myself. Would I spawn? Why? That is weird. That is really weird. Um, hmm, I'm gonna have to look into that a little bit more before we can actually set the world spawn because it isn't spawning me exactly where I want it to, which is weird. So, I'm gonna have to work that out a just a little bit more. Um, oh yeah, I added some more, let's see, if I teleport to, not that mine, uh, this mine, there it is, yep. Um, I added some more dialogue to the villager, not the villager, the innkeeper, the innkeeper talking. So I added some more uh, dialogue to... Uh, the innkeeper. If I go ahead and reactivate all of this dialogue, I believe it's working right now. If we actually, we have to get rid of this. There we go. Awesome. So, um, what we can do now is if we head back to the main area and then go up to the villager. You guys do remember last episode we actually talked to the innkeeper because I added some dialogue. Let's see what we got. Good day, Charles. Are you interested in the room for night? I say maybe. I don't know. Who am I? And then I say... Oh, no, I say, well, I've never seen your face before. Maybe you're just tired. Tell you what, I'll put you up in a room free of charge. And I say, really, thank you. But is it going to cost me anything? And then he say, it won't cost you any nuggets. We'll talk about your form of payment tomorrow. I'm like, uh, okay. And then he says, splendid. I'll see you in the morning. Your room number is three. And then he says, I've booked you in room number three. Now, I'm going to change the uh, the subtitles or the title in the middle of the screen right there to just uh, go to room number three because I accidentally uh, exchanged it. I don't know. It's hard to explain. But anyway, we go upstairs. There we go. And go to room number three. And there we go, and enter, and go to the area, stay there, and wait a couple of minutes, just so it looks like we're sleeping. We wake up, head downstairs, and it's morning time. We think it's morning, a splendid day, 
uh, and we head downstairs. So, once we go downstairs, someone actually suggested that um, we put like a quest or something in here, which is a good idea. I think we should talk about that uh, some other time. I'll probably put more villagers in here in next episode, and uh, yeah, it'll look a lot more immersive. But anyway, we keep on going downstairs, right? And then we go over here, talk to the innkeeper. Good morning, how does you sleep? And I say, good, thank you. Any thought on who I am? And then he says, I did some asking around. I think I know somebody who knows you. And I say, great, who is it? And then he says, tell you what, I'll tell you who knows you once your payment is counted for. And I say, oh, come on, man. Why do you have to play me like that? Fine, what is it that I have to do exactly? And this is the part they added on. And I say, for the past couple of months, our town has been terrorized by an angry blacksmith by the name of Elgor. People want to get rid of him, but he dwells deep in the cavern south of here. I would like you to go down there and see... Wait, and what did I say that? And see if you can get... Uh, see if you can rid him. Okay, I didn't say that right. I'm going to have to uh, retype that. And I say, are you serious? This is not what I signed up for. Fine. If it helps me know more about who I am, I'll do it. And then I say, splendid. No, I say, the innkeeper says, splendid. I'll see you then. Okay, and then from there... He gives me a quest, and the quest is slaying Elgor. So, from there, I go and open up the quest. It says, Quest. The dreaded Elgor has been terrorizing Grampston, and the objective is to go to Elgor's cave and defeat him. Dot, dot, dot. And the reward is 30 gold nuggets. I thought 30 gold nuggets was a pretty fair trade. Uh, I don't know. But, anyway, uh, this is what the innkeeper sells, if you guys do not remember. Pretty basic. Pretty basic. So, anyways, guys, that is... um. A lot of what I did off of camera, I added a, another villager as well. Um, I added good old Harry. Actually, let's set the time sets day just because. There we go. So I added Harry as well. So check out Harry. Um, I don't know why I made him a librarian. I, just, I guess I just did. He's like a cat man. He reads books. I don't know. <laughs> uh, so anyway, if you go and right click on Harry for two gold nuggets, he'll give you eight raw salmon. And for three gold nuggets, he will give you cat food. Doesn't taste that bad. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, I don't know. I guess this looks the most like cat food. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all the uh, trades that Harry has. I kind of wanted him to be a little bit unique, you know? And uh, yeah, so Harry's cat has just been stuck up there for so long. But uh, yeah, that's uh, I think that's all I really did. Uh, off of camera, I think. I don't know. Sorry I didn't get as much done as I would like to. After I finished the... What's it called? The the last episode of Bam, I said I was going to get uh, a lot more done. But I really... I got to be honest. I did not have as much time as I thought I would. I thought I would have a little bit more time to uh, work on Bam, But I did not. So, hopefully next episode I'll get a crazy bunch of stuff done. Um, I'll add a bunch of villagers into the town. Uh, probably add something over here actually because if we go over here, uh, I did talk about this last episode uh, If I give myself a barrier actually no, we'll probably grab a barrier when we get over here So walk down the path take a right instead of a left or not take a left instead of a right And then you enter this uh, playing field area and we talked about what kind of quest would uh, be right here so I actually thought of a quest where you would have to capture or not capture or like uh, kill a bunch of infested spiders or something like that in the area. Uh, just something in this area. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. Uh, that's actually, that's a good idea. Uh, leave a comment down below on what I should uh, put in this field because I have no idea what I was going for here when I made this area. But um, what I did do is I surrounded the entire, entire area with barriers. So whatever uh, goes here uh, or is gets put in here cannot escape the plain area which is good uh so just give me your suggestions guys uh, i'm just giving you pretty much the uh the uh the background on uh what is going on here with this area and then you guys can just uh tell me what's uh what should be here from there and if i like it we'll probably uh do it next episode i think which should be really cool so uh i don't know what time we're running at guys it actually is kind of late for me uh well i mean it's it's, it's late for me to record i normally record at uh, you know, sometime in the morning, like afternoon or something like that, maybe at like 12 or something like that. But I'm recording at like nine at night and it is way too late for me to be recording right now, but I did not have a lot of time today. So, uh, you know, this is the best time I could, uh, could have done it, but I got to get an episode out for you guys. Cause I love you all so much. So I think I might end off the episode here. No idea what time we're running out. I apologize if I am ending it off uh, a little bit early. 
But if you guys did enjoy this episode of La Bam, please give it a thumbs up. It'll help me out tremendously, and I'd greatly appreciate it, as well as subscribe if you guys haven't already. We got a lot of good stuff coming to this channel. So, anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. My name's Pianthor, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you later, guys, and peace. And then I'm just going to totally embarrass myself because I'm not going to do work with it. Let's do some work. Do some work. Do some work. Do some work. Okay, I'm just glad I got those shots in. Oh, come on. Yeah, he's in Palace. Back. No, he's going to be. He's got to be. Last guy's B. Look for 40. No! He's in market. He's in market. Yellow, stay there. Yellow, stay there. There you go. Good job.